Well, I thought I'd better show you where we're at here. We've got the collet closer pretty well fitted up. This is our draw tube. We got the collar on it underneath with our spring, and I've changed out springs. This may take a little adjustment yet. We've got the collar on. It was a little bit tight. I've already test fitted this, and we had quite a bit of uh, wobble going on here. I think it may have been just tight in this in this collar. So I opened it up. This draw tube is a little bit larger diameter than the draw bar that was originally in it. So that may be all it takes to do that. Otherwise, we'll have to address that. I've already got my guard split and actually the bottom portion of the guards in the powder coat oven now I've got the upper portion already done and we're ready to put it back together what I ended up and did on the upper portion of the guard was the mounting bracket that came off that the arm for the collet closer hooks into I ended up and inserted a little piece and we brazed it solid onto the upper portion of the guard that just stabilized things a little bit better I had a little bit of movement in here as the pin went down through on the on the shaft and everything going down through as it sat down in here. Well, we had a little bit of play in here. Um, and it's probably wear in that, a little bit of oval because I had diameters I thought pretty well on this. So anyway, we went ahead, permanently affixed it. It's set up and it, uh, it's pretty solid. I'm really happy with it. I powder coated the upper guard and the pivot assembly. And like I say, now the lower guard is in the, or the lower section is in the powder coat oven right now. I've got my little bushing to go back in the upper guard. That's still a little bit hot, so I'll, uh, I'll have to wait until it cools, then we'll bring it back over, and we'll get this final assembled. All right, well, here's what we ended up and did with our guard. We're mounted there, and I tack welded a piece in there, and then we just brazed it over. It's something you can't see and not going to be an issue at all. So that's the way we've done it. We powder coated it. It's good and solid on there. This will set on here just like this. Of myself here. I haven't put the grease lured in this. Let's see, we've got one grease lured going on the side of this. insert that will set right in here like that. We've got our other grease insert that fits down in here. that there we go and let's see, I guess actually we don't need the, well, yeah, we do need the bottom guard to support that. Let me see if that's cool enough to get out. All right, well, we had to fumble a little bit to get our guard in there. That will sit on there like that. That will sit right. there I do believe now I do still have the little bracket that I built for here I didn't powder coat it and put it on I'm not sure that it's necessary um, I think this post with the guard on it is going to be all it needs Let me do that
we'll have to finally adjust this once we start putting material in it. In. We've got a through draw tube. Our guard open so we've got access down below. We can put our, uh, what is this belt? This is a 4L 430. Fits right on there. Fits right on there like it was made for it. Now the uh, counter shaft belt is a 4L-300. Now a 4L-310 would fit on there. This counter shaft is down on the bottom. There's plenty of clearance for it. It works just fine. But the next size longer belt would work on here also. I have no doubt whatsoever. Yeah, we still got quite a bit of vibration there. It's not as bad as it was. Call it closer does what it's supposed to do. Let me uh, just pan this camera down so you get a little bit better view of the rest of this. If you find these videos helpful, you might want to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I turn out a new video. And any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. And thanks for taking the time to watch.